Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com here at Allen's Camera, which is allenscamera.com, because the EOS 1DX has arrived after being announced a long time ago and finally coming out. And what's funny is I had to actually look up the specs of it again because it's been so long since they've announced it that I kind of forgot what it does. Well, I didn't really forget, but I know it's a behemoth of a camera that's going to be a great camera out there at the Olympics this year because they have a ton of them going out there. It can do amazing things. The high ISO capability is supposed to be amazing, especially that it goes from 50 natively to what? What does it say? What did I say? 50,000... 7 million miles an hour, it goes up, the ISO goes up extremely high. I think it's 51,000 ISO is what it natively goes to, 51,200. And uh, that's pretty high. That's higher than what the D4 goes to in its native settings. It's also lower. So it's a huge range. Not only is it going to be great for taking stills, it's going to be great for taking video, but this is an unboxing sniff test. And Fro Vader thinking uh, what's his thoughts. And we'll also do some wind tunnel tests with the D4 next to it, just for a comparison. So opening it up, Nope, doesn't have an XQD card. Why? Because it doesn't take XQD cards, like the D4, which is a whole totally different story. Comes with your English manual, your Spanish manual. I'm going to be really careful taking this stuff out because this is a $6,800 camera. $6,800? That's like a, a Daewoo. You could buy two Daewoos. No, you buy one, you get one free for that money, if you can even find a Daewoo. You know why you bought Daewoos like that? Because you bought one for parts and one to drive. This is a good smelling box. It smells really good. It's got that, it's got that Xavier Roberts Cabbage Patch Kid smell going on. Let's see. Now I've got to figure out how to unbox this thing without doing anything wrong to it so that Alan doesn't yell at me. All right, here's the camera body itself. In here, we've got an eyepiece. We've got a, a cord keeper that basically locks your cord into it when you are uh, shooting tethered. Then you've got a Canon strap. Oh, oh, it's printed with, with camo now, just like that. I'd replace it with a Black Rapid personally, but that's just me. I think most pros would end up doing that as well. Uh, you've got a big, huge charger. It's a double charger like what Nikon gives you now. That's good. You want two. You've got your video cables. You've got your power cable. You've got your big battery. Big battery, it's not much bigger than what the Nikon gives you. So really, it comes with what it needs to come with. But you want to see the body. I want to see the body. I want to feel it. I want to hear what Fro Vader has to say. And I want to put it next to the D4. So here we go. Let's get this thing going. Whoa. Here it is. No battery in here. I mean, that's, that's beautiful. It is beautiful. There's nothing, you, you can't deny the fact that this is a beautiful looking camera. It's thicker than the D4, I believe, but we'll get to that in a minute, putting it next to each other. But I have to say the redesigned body is really good in the hands. It allows you literally to use your thumb because it's got a thummy McThummer thing in the back and that really helps you hold the camera where it needs to go. You know what it does smell like, I think? It smells like early 2011, because that's when it was announced. It's been so long. It, it was announced six months before the D4, and it came out six months after. It's interesting, but I cannot rip on this camera because you know it's an amazing camera. There is no doubt about it that this is probably one of the best cameras that Canon has ever put out. It has the two jog dials in the back, the two jog sticks, so that you can finally reach it when you shoot vertical. Unless you have really huge hands, you could never reach this thing back here. But it feels good in the hands. It is a little heavy, even without the battery in it. It is a big, thick, wide camera. There's lots of buttons on the front of it. You know, I wish I could take some sample shots, but again, this one's spoken for already, so it's not mine. I can't do that. Um, I'm sure you can find a lot of samples online, but we know it's going to be a really, really good camera, especially for the, the ability that it has for video, for stills, great for sports. Is it for you? If you can afford a $6,800 camera and then put glass on it, then of course, it's for you. Um, but at $6,800, 
that's a tough, that's a lot of money to put out unless you are getting tons and tons, unless you're making a ton of money, you could always pick up a 5D Mark III, but again, totally two different cameras. Uh, you get a 5D Mark III to shoot video. I, I don't think I'd buy this just to shoot video, but you know, you've got a lot of inputs here. You got your ethernet built right into the side, nice screen, the back looks nice, buttons are really easy to get to now. Uh, and a ton of buttons on it. I know I've said that. So let's put it next to the D4, and then we're going to get Frovader's thoughts. So here's a new D4. Whoa, don't fall, D4. Heavy. They're very similar in weight. And both don't have a battery. I think the Nikon is slightly lighter. Let's turn it to the side. Let's see which one is thicker. I'm looking here. Well, I know who's going to win the wind tunnel test this time. Mm-hmm. Look. The Nikon needs to be in the front because it's more ergodynamic. No, that's aerodynamic. So the air flows over it, thus being stopped by the Canon 1DX behind it. But you can play with that joke all you want in the front and in the back. Um, you know, you can tell right here, the Nikon's a little narrower. It's not as blockier. This is like a brick. This is more shapely. That doesn't matter. Who cares? You're going to buy a Nikon. You're going to buy a Canon. Whichever one is for you, doesn't matter. Both of these cameras are tremendous. Um, they're both amazing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, kick either one of them out of bed. But this is about the 1DX. Feels good in the hands. It is heavy. But again, when you use pro cameras, you know you're buying something heavy. So let's hear what Frovader has to say, and then we will get out of here from Alan's camera. Wait, why'd the breathing stop? Oh, I need to do my sniffy test of this. Woo! Canon 1DX, may the force be with you because you are amazing. I've been waiting for you for like a year. And now you finally show up and you're $6,800? That's okay. I make lots of money in the space trade. I sell a lot of, uh, uh, stuff. Cause, because I, I mine stuff out of uh, Tatooine and, and, and things like that. But I really love this camera. Look at it. I really would marry it. I wonder what's inside. I don't know. Oh, look, there's a door. How does the door open? How does the door open? Does anybody know how to open this door? I haven't figured it out. Oh, there it is. You have to turn that knob. That's kind of weird. But it opens the door to find two compact flash slots. Those Nikon guys really messed up by putting an XQD card in there. Who wants two different card formats? Certainly Canon gets it right by putting two CF cards. That's a smart move. I like CF cards because they're like, they're like Wookiees, and they, and they always do a good job. So I, I like it. I love this camera. Ooh, look at you with an X on it. You're so dark in color, just like me. You know, my black helmet and all, and cape. Ooh, it's so good. It's just like the dark side, and I love the dark side of Canon. So, that's it. You know, I, I like this, and I'll, I'll take five of them, please. Alan, I'll take five 1DXs, please. Just charge it to, just charge it to the Death Star. You have my credit card and my code. It's one, two, three, four. What? How many people? Eighty-five people before Fro Vader. No, I'm taking five. I'm gonna be like, give me five, and then they're gonna do it. So now back to Jared. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Fro Vader, for saying what you had to say about this. I know it does smell good, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so not a lot of these have come in yet. Uh, they're still trickling in, but if you are interested in picking one of these up at Allen's Camera, check out allenscamera.com or call 215-547-2841, and they can put you on the list to pick one of these up or any of your Canon or Nikon needs. They've got it. So from Allen's Camera, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. Are you subscribed yet on the YouTube channel? Well, click the subscribe button right here. Also click 
this box if you want to be emailed every time I upload a new video so you can get the latest video uploads as they happen. And also, if you haven't signed up for the free user's guide, sign up right here, put your name, email address in here, hit send it, you will get a free ebook sent to your email as well as a link to a 60 minute long video on flash photography in the studio that Adam and I created. So please do that and we'll see you.